guys. Welcome to Stargirl TV. Ilya here, talking about arts and crafts. Don't you just love arts and crafts? I love arts and crafts. I have a rule, I'm not allowed to go into a Michaels unsupervised. Never in my whole life have I been able to walk into a Michaels and only get the one thing that I went for. <sighs> Puffy paint is the reason for the season. And I think that we can all admit that our lives are richer for arts and crafts. Where would we be without things like dioramas? Exactly. There are some instances in which arts and crafts might not be necessarily the way to go. For instance, headshots. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy that I just talked about arts and crafts with headshots because I just so happen to have a selection of headshots here demonstrating what not to do. Welcome to the first installment in the series, What Not To Do with Ilea. Now listen, um, I love glitter. I just wanna get that off the bat. You'll notice that most of my nail polishes are glittery, but you know what? Headshots, maybe not the right time or place for glitter. I have this as an example. This is my serious face. I'm trying to come off as, as you know. Hey look, I filled in my eyes with glitter. Probably a um, bad idea made my earrings glittery and my necklace glittery. Now while this is a fun holiday card for your grandmother, you can write her a note on the back, be like, Dear Boopy, Happy Christmas slash Hanukkah slash non-denominational holiday. Love, Ilea. Enjoy the glitter. We like playing around with makeup. It's fun, but you know what? Makeup is something to do before you take your headshots, not after. For instance, here I am featuring the latest in Sharpie fashion. Super red lips, nutcracker doll cheeks, and a heck of a ton of mascara. I think it's kind of obvious why you shouldn't do this. While we're on the subject of Sharpies, another thing that you should not draw on it is literally just anything. Like, it doesn't have to be makeup, but don't, for instance, like, write a letter on your headshot or doodle in the margins. I actually had a really good time doing this one. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm not saying that any of you uh, necessarily would do this, but just in case, don't cut out part of your headshots. Oh my gosh, how much does this look like the poster for a creepy stalker movie? She's got no idea that her evil twin is stalking her. Evil stalker twin coming this Halloween. <laughs> That wasn't me, that was somebody else doing that. Really, you just want a nice picture that just shows what you look like. This is the picture I'm currently using, and I, I typically send it out without glitter. Thank you so much for watching Stargirl. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. I'm just gonna be right over here with my Sharpies and my puppy paint because I love arts and crafts.